19 weirdest STEM jobs people actually do. Number 14, an ethical hacker. A pretty non-traditional job that comes with some thrill and creativity that will allow you to put your computer skills to use is to become a hacker. To clarify, a white hat hacker or an ethical hacker is a person that is hired by a company to hack their software and programs and then restructure them in order for a better security system. There are two other types of hackers, the gray hat hacker and then there's the black hat hacker. A black hat hacker is a person that maliciously hacks companies for their own personal gains, and it's definitely not something you want to get mixed up with. As an ethical hacker, you can make up to $170,000 a year doing so. Number 13, a flavorist. Also known as a flavor chemist, these types of scientists conduct research in order to recreate and synthesize natural and artificial flavors. This job is not only high in demand for food companies, but also within manufacturers that create hair, skin, and home cleaning products that need to have pleasant smells. Even in the medical field, where you get paid to help change the bitter flavors in certain medications. On average, you'll make around $100,000 a year. Number 12, a gumologist. The basic job description for a gum Gumologist is to pretty much try and create a perfect piece of gum. This includes factors such as flavor, how long the flavor lasts, and the ability for it to blow bubbles. Fun fact, a stick of gum normally weighs between 1 and 7 grams. The ability for gum to deliver flavor is a strong focal point, especially if it's a gum with any type of fruit flavor. Some gumologists, such as the ones at Cadbury, are just regular people who just chew gum for a few hours and then get paid for it. They go through a six month training period in order to evaluate the products. Number 11, a nasal knot. Let's clarify what a nasal knot actually is. It's the title that George Aldrich has given himself thanks to his incredible sense of smell. His actual title is a chemical specialist in the Molecular Desorption Analysis Laboratory at White Sands. And what he does is he uses his sense of smell in order to keep the US Space Corps free of any foul odor. He has to smell various objects to determine whether or not if they are deemed safe from developing dangerous smells in space, since you can't really open up a window. Aldrich has no scientific training and started out as a simple test guinea pig. Number 10, a firework designer. If you're someone who enjoys watching fireworks every year on New Year's Eve or the 4th of July, then this might be a possible career path for you. The firework designer, otherwise known as a chemist, is the one who creates those big fancy light shows in the sky. They put together different compounds that create chemical reactions in order to produce the fireworks' bright color. For example, blue fireworks get their color from copper compounds. This job requires a PhD in chemistry and sometimes even a master's degree because of all the dangerous compounds. Number 9. A food scientist. Sure, this might sound like a dream job, but you don't actually eat the food you work with for a living. Instead, you get to research, design, and engineer it. This could mean creating foods that have a higher nutritional value for people in third world countries or even prolonging the shelf life of certain produce. The possibilities are endless. If you want to get started on the path towards this career, you're going to need a BS degree that includes taking courses in microbiology, food engineering, and food analysis. Number eight, an animal therapist. No, not a therapist that treats animals. What an animal therapist does is that they help groom animals that will eventually become certified therapy animals for others. The most typical therapy pets range from dogs and cats, but there can also be some unlikely ones such as snakes and miniature horses. Even dolphins are trained to help people who have an intellectual or developmental disability and children with autism. Animal training will be required for this field, as well as a bachelor's degree in either sociology or psychology. Number 7. A Volcanoologist This is certainly a real profession. Volcanoologists are a group of scientists that keep a close watch on active volcanoes in order to determine if they're going to erupt or not. They also map volcanoes, study rock chemistry, and collect molten hot magma. They need to be very careful while they're analyzing, or mistakes can be fatal, and a handful of volcanoologists have lost their lives out in the field. If you want to follow in this field, you'll need to work hard to get your PhD in geology. Number 6. A Space Psychologist this this next one might make you scratch your head and say, huh? It's a space psychologist's job to study how astronauts cope with the unique conditions that they experience in space. This can range from their weightless environment to the conditions of the actual space flight. This can involve strange and unfamiliar physical feelings that include extreme acceleration and no gravity. They also recommend the best way for astronauts to execute their mental and physical tasks 
along with how to rest properly. Number five, a fermentation scientist, also known as a zymologist. These scientists study microorganisms that can be used in the fermentation process. Louis Pasteur is credited as being the first zymologist and for the discovery detailing how yeast leads to fermentation. When foods are fermented, they go through a process where bacteria or yeast begins to convert sugars into gases, alcohol, and acids. This includes such food and drinks such as pickles, beer, bread, cheese, wine, and yogurt. Colleges such as the University of Colorado offer special fermentation science programs for anyone wanting to pursue the field. Number four, a laughter therapist. Laughter is the best form of medicine or in this case, the best form of therapy. That's right, these therapists are here to make you feel better by laughing, not through knock-knock jokes. It's their job to help you laugh through various exercises in order to help you experience the same joyful laughter that babies feel and reap the benefits of laughter. These benefits include a boosted immune system, a rise in endorphins, which make you happy, and a reduced stress level. Number three, microscope dentistry. This type of dentistry offers a more enhanced way for dentists to examine the teeth of their patients. It's not a very cheap practice as the microscope required can cost a pretty penny, which is why most dentists don't use this method of practice. It's been around since the late 1970s, and the microscope is able to provide a better view than what the naked eye is able to. Number two, a pet food taster. Yes, there are people in this world who make a living by tasting the food we give to our furry friends. Professional pet food tasters are recruited by companies in order to test the newest flavor profile of kibble. The reason? Our pets aren't able to flat out tell us if something they're eating isn't tasty, though usually they'll just spit it out or go hide it behind the sofa. That's where these food testers come into play. They report on the food's taste and texture by giving them a certain rating. This is how companies decide on which food will be the tastiest to sell. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments section what you thought the weirdest job was, and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, a snake milker. You're probably thinking, wait, snakes don't have milk, do they? Well, no, but that's a different type of milking that you're thinking of. What this job is, is that it requires animal care specialists to carefully extract the venom from poisonous snakes. The life-giving substance is then used to aid in the research for potential antidotes and many other medications. One usage has already seen the creation of a freeze-dried powder that is being used to make drugs for high blood pressure, blood clots, and heart attacks. Snake venom has been used as the main ingredient to create anti-venom for snake bites. The process of extracting the venom is said to be easier said than done.